Economists study the production and distribution of resources, goods, and services. In this video, we will go over what economists do, the job market for economists, what kind of money they make, and the top industries and metro areas. Coming up. Hey everybody, my name is Stephen Hack, and this is Career Watch, a YouTube channel helping you with your career search. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button to support this channel. Economists apply economic analysis to a variety of different fields. They study historical trends and use them to make forecasts. As you will see later in this video, many economists are employed by local, state, and the federal government. For governments, economists will study inflation, tax policy, productivity, employment, and other types of data. For corporations, economists help stakeholders understand how the economy will affect their business. Economists also work for international organizations, research firms, and think tanks. Often their forecasts and analysis are published in newspapers and journals. Economists work in a wide variety of industries. 22% work for the federal government, 19% work in research and development, 13% work in consulting, 9% work in state government, and 6% work in the finance and insurance industry. Comparing these different kinds of organizations, the federal government pays economists the most on average, with an average salary of about $120,000 per year. Next in line is the finance and insurance industry, which on average pays around $118,000 per year, followed by consulting, $111,000, research and development, $110,000, and state government, which pays on average around $70,000 per year. So not only does the federal government pay economists on average the most amount of money, they also employ the most. But there is a significant gap in pay between the federal government and the state government. The federal government on average pays one, around 120K per year, but the state governments around the country on average pay only around 70K per year. Next, let's take a look at the historical job market for economists. This chart shows the job growth of economists over the past 20 years. In the year 1999, there were 14,490 jobs for economists. From 1999 to 2010, there was quite a bit of job volatility for economists. And then from 2010 to 2017, there was some pretty good job growth. In 2018, the government recorded 18,650 jobs for economists. So over a 20 year time period, there was a gain of about 4,160 economist jobs. The government is pretty optimistic regarding economist jobs over the next 10 years. They are forecasting an 8% growth over the next 10 years, with the average growth being around 5%. Economists with master's degrees and PhDs will have the best job prospects. It is actually really challenging to get an economist job with just a bachelor's degree. There are a lot of people that major in economics but don't actually become economists. Next, let's take a look at what economists earn. This graph is showing the average economist's pay over the past 20 years. In 1999, the average economist's wage was recorded at $61,550. By the year 2018, the average wage had risen to $116,020. So wages rose for economists by $54,470 over a period of 20 years. Finally, let's explore which metro areas are best for economists. This is a relatively small field of about 18,000 jobs, so there's actually some metro areas that are just off limits to economists, and certain metro areas that have tons and tons of jobs. Of course, if you end up working for a state government or, a, or the federal government, you don't really need many different opportunities in a metro area like other occupations. Typically, people that work for the federal government might work for the federal government for decades. But for people outside of the government, here are five metro areas that have a lot of jobs and a pretty high average wage. Number five on this list is the San Francisco, California metro area. There's 390 jobs and the average wage in San Francisco is $135,760. Number four on this list is the Los Angeles, California metro area. There's less jobs than San Francisco, but Los Angeles is a cheaper place to live and the average wage is $131,350. The New York metro area has 690 jobs more than Los Angeles and San Francisco, and the average wage is about $134,640. Of course, the New York metro area is extremely expensive, but has pretty good job prospects for economists. The Boston, Massachusetts metro area has 1,130 jobs, which is considerably more than the New York City metro area. Also, the average wage in Boston is $117,280. This is less than New York City, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, but Boston is considerably cheaper than many of those other metro areas. And finally, in my opinion, the best metro area for economists is the Washington, D.C. metro area. There's almost 8,000 jobs for economists in the Washington, D.C. metro area. This is more than Boston, New York, Los Angeles combined. I mean, this is 
quite a few jobs for economists. Also, the DC average wage is $132,940. So this is definitely the best metro area for economists. As you can see, most of the best metro areas for economists are in the big cities. Are you interested in becoming an economist? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time.